Dead meme. Hey there, guys. We're back to play some Stationeers. Today, I would like to look at the atmosphere and just a really simple setup. I would consider it an intermediate level. So, uh, if you're just landing and you need to set up a uh, simple oxygen and water, I have a video for that. It's probably earlier in the playlist. I recommend starting there. This is for when you kind of have some resources going. But let's step into it. So, you're going to need these filtration devices. You make them out of atmosphere kits. You can print them in the pipe bender machine. And what I like to do, I like to label all of my gases and whatnot. But let's look at this and explain how it works. So any waste gas, like your waste tank, if you throw it in there, it'll filter out anything that's worth having, such as oxygen and nitrogen. So when you put down this atmosphere kit, there'll be an arrow pointing in, that's the inlet, and then you have two exits. The exit on the top is what's being filtered out. So these filters filter out oxygen, which goes into this tank. And I can just do an exchange. We easily have a full tank. Make sure your tank only has oxygen in it if you're going to do this because you'll contaminate the tube and then it's a difficult nuisance to flush out. It can be done, but it's uh, it's a pain. All right, so every other gas gets filtered in through this pipe. And then the process starts all over again. I've got a CO2 filter, which is being pushed into this tank and up this pipe. The little red marker is just like a visual indicator. I put them on the bends and the, the elbows of pipes, so before I tap into them, I know what it is. So all the other gases are filtered into here. And so we've got a nitrogen filter. And of course, let us put my atmosphere analyzer in. And of course, nitrogen. And I'm filtering out volatiles in this one. So you might ask, why would I want to uh, store volatiles? Well, there's a good reason. Up here, the white tube is my oxygen collection. So I'm sending oxygen into this gas mix mixer, and I'm sending volatiles into this gas mixer. And as you can see here, I've got a, a mix of gas input one, which is this one. It always comes from the, the right, or this arrow. Gas input two is this one, and this is the final product. And this is filling up with fuel, basically for your welding torch. So, like, uh, if we open up the welding torch... The welding torch has a fuel canister in it, and if it runs out, you won't be able to weld. So, basically, this uh, setup, when I turn it on, like this, will fill this system up with volatiles for me so that I can... There's 35 megapascals, so I don't need any more. That will fill up the welding torch for me so that I can continue to weld. Now let's move on. So let's talk about getting gas into your system. I uh, recycle the waste. So by putting this filter on this end, it pretty much pulls everything out of here and I don't need to, uh, I don't need to put any kind of regular regulator on it because I'm just dumping my waste tank in there. And of course it's doing all of this, this O2 tank fills so that we have a large supply of oxygen for all the players here. But this is probably the way you're going to get the majority of your gases into your system. There are four kinds of ice. So, water ice, which fills up our water system. And there we go. Now that the sun's gone down, we can look at um, the other ices. So, if you handle ice in direct sunlight, or if you look in the bottom right corner, the temperature is negative 7 or 8 now, uh, you can handle ice by like splitting it and it can sit in your hand and it won't melt. But if you're in like direct sunlight and it's warm out, the ice is gonna disappear. So that's something to keep in mind. So oxides, that's, you can guess, <laughs> you can get a lot of oxygen out of it, but we also sometimes get nitrogen. I think it's actually a guarantee you'll get like 35% and then there's nitrous ice. Yeah, it's all nitrogen, and there's nitrous oxide in there, too. So, you want to filter out... Um, basically, if you don't filter out the additional materials from your oxygen supply, you're going to need to install more filters. So, I'm only breathing carbon, so I own, or oxygen, I only need to handle a carbon 
filter, but if I had some nitrogen in there, even though that's normal for Earth's atmosphere, if I mix some of this in there, I would have to get a carbon filter in order to prevent myself from getting oxygen warnings. And uh, again, if uh, you need more information on that, I did cover that. But let's talk about making an atmosphere. So I took oxygen and nitrogen, combined them, and then I put a little bit of carbon. And then I painted the pipe blue. And that's uh, a color code system that's within our circle of friends that we understand uh, how to uh, use the pipes and the materials that are in them. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can grow stuff here. So we got tomato plants and pumpkins. This is our hydroponics bay. This is a really cool heating setup, heating cooling, because uh, you will murder these plants if you don't control the temperature. And one thing to keep in mind too, the temperature of the water matters. So what I do to deal with this is there's a regulator in here and a big vessel of water. So I only allow so much water to come in through the regulator. And then it sits in, in this place at room temperature, the temperature of this room, and that doesn't kill the plants. So uh, the heating and cooling, I'm not covering this video. If you do need a video, there's a guy on YouTube called Cows Are Evil. Go check his stuff out because he covered it exceptionally well. That's how I built mine, so I don't see a reason to to cover it, like unless there's some sort of weird outcry that I need to cover it. But uh, basically, I just followed his system. It's very, very simple. Uh, if you ha have any experience with like PLCs or anything to that or any sort of industrial control, you'll probably pick this up. Like uh, I'm a journeyman electrician, so this was not uh, tough for me to get, right? It was a, it was a, all right. So now you're thinking, great, I've got all this gas filtered. How do I safely get it into one of these rooms? So let's take a look at these gas mixers. So typically nitrogen and oxygen is fine. Uh, if you look at my ratio here, it's a little bit funny because I'm adding carbon to this environment as well. So I'm taking nitrogen and oxygen, mixing them at 23 ox and the remaining nitrogen. And then over here, 10% carbon with this mixture. And without it, um, from what I understand, the plants will die. At least that's what the wiki says. So we've got it metered off. We've put a little valve in here. And I've got a pressure gauge for this side of the valve. So we're going to cycle in and I'm going to show you how I actually got pressure in here. So I have an active vent here. I just set it up so that it can push or pull because you can just swap the states to change the amount of pressure. And if we look at the little tablet here, and we put the correct system in. So this is the statistics of the room 70 kilopascals i believe that's safe to take your helmet off yeah at this temperature in these levels it seems just fine so the carbon level of this room used to be 16 percent. it's dropping the plants are doing their their thing and the oxygen level is climbing so what i could do to deal with that is i can push the air back into the vent and then I could even flush it back into the system later on. Like, uh, we haven't quite built that yet. So, you'll just flip this switch after you've opened the valve for a short period of time. And it will fill this room with oxygen or whatever gas mixture you've chosen. Uh, keep in mind, as the temperature fluctuates, so will the pressure. Uh, if the temperature is too high or too low, it'll kill the plants. It will also uh, change the pressure of the room and potentially cause an explosive decompression. So just keep that in mind. It's not tough to do. Uh, the other option you have is you can drop ice in the room, like, but don't drop nitrous. This uh, release, releases nitrous oxide, which will put you to sleep. It's obnoxious. You'll hate it. Just oxide. A little bit of nitrogen is in oxide. It should be good enough. I believe that covers atmosphere for the most part. And some honorable mentions i do recommend putting some pressure gauges on your pipes so that you know how much pressure is in them because they will explode and they will uh, potentially damage the environment they're attached in our atmosphere room is in a near vacuum because we're on mars so uh we do this on purpose to prevent 
any gases that are undesired from venting into the base. So if we have a, a violent decompression, the loss is to the vacuum, which is sad, but safer. And one other thing to keep in mind, any environment that is high in oxygen can potentially explode while welding in it. So uh, keep that in mind. Don't operate a welding torch in like a 100% oxygen environment. It will be a sad day. But anyways, uh, if you found this helpful or if I missed something, leave a comment. Tell me what's going well, what's not so well. And of course, post a comment. If you have any information I've missed, I'll try to push it up to the top and make sure that people get the best information possible. And uh, if this was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, share it with someone who could use it. Talk to you later.